Anyway, this is me uh, painting again. Um, so I'm just going to talk about some of the things I learnt while doing this painting for the band Harlot. Um, well, it's pretty clear so far that I did a green underpainting because um, they're a metal band and I thought, hey, metal, green underpainting. Um, so often what I'll do when I have an idea for something um, is I'll just Google it and see which old master did it, you know, and how they did it, and so I can just kind of copy them. Um, so green underpainting is a technique called verdaccio, or verdaccio, maybe. It's Italian, and my Italian's not great. Um, so Michelangelo did it, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a... So you start with a green underpainting, and... Um, one of the things about underpaintings is depending on how you paint, you can see some of the underpainting, you know, over when you're finished. Uh, and, and especially how I paint, often what I do is I, I almost, uh, I think what I try and do is like accentuate the underpainting or, or there's something going on that I really enjoy watching. I like the way you get to kind of see some of the underpainting. Um, so, uh, Verdaccio is like doing your underpainting in green. And one of the things about uh, green is that it's the complementary color to red, which means that, um, uh, what does it mean? Oh, it means that, the, uh, I think what it means is that they accentuate each other. Uh, I could be wrong, but, so like, if you put something green next to something red, the red thing looks redder, the green thing looks greener. And so, uh, what it does on, like, skin tones and on flesh is it makes... Uh, it makes the, the the red feel redder because it's right next to this kind of like in the shadows where you know I've left a bit more of the underpainting or oh, I don't even know if it's just in the shadows um, but just wherever uh, it makes the red thing like feel redder so I think really if I'm to summarize what I learned it's that uh, well, Googling what what you think your idea is uh, to see which old master did it is definitely a thing that I love doing and, like, it's just my favorite way to work. Because um, they're real good. Like, there's a reason that they're old masters because they're, like, just real good at what they do. Um, and, yeah, I think uh, this is kind of when I really started thinking a lot more about the underpainting and the relationship between the underpainting and like what you what shows through versus what you cover up um yeah so that's i think what i learned underpaintings man i i don't even know if i do them really but yeah Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can subscribe to the channel and then get notified every time I post a new video. Um, if you know anyone else who might enjoy these videos, obviously share it with them, that would be awesome. Um, and if you have any questions about painting, you can just leave them in the comments below and we can work out the answer together so we both get better. I'll see you in two weeks.